the Tucson Rodeo, a February tradition in the old Pueblo since 1925. But before the Tucson Rodeo began 97 years ago, there was a Tucson Rodeo Parade. When we first began in 1925, the very first parade had the participants of the rodeo in the parade also. That's right. The first Tucson Rodeo in February of 1925 started off with a parade of local cowboys. About 300 people participated, making their way to a midtown polo field for the three-day rodeo. This was all the brainchild of Leighton Kramer, president of the Arizona Polo Association. Yeah, has it changed much? Uh, it has. Well, if you take a look at the arena, um, it's, it's fenced in now. The very first rodeo was held at Kramer Field, which is right where University Medical Center is. And to form the arena, they actually took their cars and parked them side by side so that the bulls wouldn't go running and the livestock wouldn't go running away. Today, the rodeo and the accompanying parade are much more organized, but the tradition of La Fiesta de los Vaqueros remains the same. It translates to celebration of the cowboys, and a celebration it is. The committee really has a lot of pride to, to put it on, to keep this tradition going. That tradition is in the hands of a 38-member committee, which oversees every aspect of the parade. Looking at this room here, wagon rentals. Uh, there's also a shop and maintenance that takes care of the greasing of the wheels. We've got ticket sales, we've got grandstand committee to set up the grandstands along Irvington. Like, like I said, there's 18 subcommittees, and uh, it takes it that you know it takes that to make it roll. And then there's also about 300 volunteers that come in on parade day to make it all happen. Martin says it wouldn't happen without the support of those volunteers. They keep the largest non-motorized parade in the country rolling. But that's so unique, right? The the non-motorized. I mean, it is. and that that's part of that tradition you're trying to carry on. Right, and we're not only non-motorized, we try to keep it historic too. Part of that history are the colorful costumes and well-decorated wagons and buggies. Martin is in charge of the Rodeo Parade Museum, which is busy leading up to the parade as organizations get their non-motorized floats ready. There are about 150 wagons and buggies in the parade. Many of them are on display the rest of the year at the museum. Also part of the parade tradition, school-aged children in Tucson get two days off every February for the parade and rodeo. Tucson's probably the only place in the United States that kids get out of school for those two days. And uh, although sometimes we catch a little flack for having a parade on a Thursday, but it's, it's tradition, you know, it's a Tucson tradition. And we hope that we continue to get support from the city and, and you know, businesses and everybody else. Stan, thank you for the time. Obviously the Tucson Rodeo Parade is absolutely Arizona and we appreciate all that you do and your volunteers.